Sports Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking <laughs> sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time to meet Team 317. Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, my longtime broadcast partner, covering close to 18 years. He is yeah. a regular contributor to the Wolverine.com and founder of the Crawford Podcasting Network. Uh, how was your night last night, Tom? I'm forcing my smile right now. I'm in pain still. <laughs> no, I, going into that game last night, Jack, I was for certain yeah. Michigan was going to win that game. I studied Penn State. I saw what they did against Pitt. I just had this feeling they were going to be able to run the ball, move the ball, but you got to do that for three, for four quarters, not three quarters. Do you know why Penn State won that game? Uh, I'm sure you have your reasons. It was a, a revenge tour, right? <laughs> I'll let you take that one and go with it. <laughs> but, hey, Michigan showed me something. We'll talk more about that a right. little bit later. Right. Uh, bright signs. All right. Also joined by Darian Harris. Five-year MSU linebacker, co-captain of the 2015 Big Ten Champions. He is an aspiring broadcaster. Uh, he's a Bigby Coffee brand ambassador. And he is a football coach now at Wild Lake Western. Uh, assistant on the staff. Hey, still only got one loss, right? Yep, still only got one loss. Had a big win over Wild Lake Northern on Friday. Uh, one more game to close out the regular season against Wild Lake Central this upcoming Friday and then on to playoffs. So that's when things get interesting, things get dicey, and anything can happen, as we know, in football, especially the playoffs. Um, it's just, you know, this is all new to me. It's pretty cool how Michigan High School does it. It's almost like the NCAA tournament field. Yeah. Huge field. Yeah. Huge field. Yeah. So anything can happen. Selection Sunday. Yeah, exactly. Bit. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Also joined tonight by Stephen Brooks. Does a great job covering Michigan State football and basketball for 24-7 sports. Spartan Tailgate premium site. And uh, like Darian, he is a weekly contributor every Thursday. Uh, the Drive with Jack. What did you do in your bye weekend? Uh, went out and uh, spent some time with a buddy for his birthday over in Metro Detroit, actually. Watched a ton of football. Uh, I think we were on the couch all together for like six hours or so through yeah. those first two windows. Uh, then we went out and got some dinner and everything, watched Michigan, yeah. um, caught some late games. So, yeah, it was great. You know, I haven't been able to sort of lounge like that in a while. I find this a lot. They say, oh, writers, oh, middle of the season, what do you do? Like, we're going to go somewhere <laughs> exotic. No, we sit there and watch <laughs> television. <laughs> That's our life. Games, right? yeah. Watch more football. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Now we're getting ready for football and basketball, that deadly overlap. Yeah. So I uh, hope you got a little bit of rest while you could. We yeah. will be back in just a minute, and uh, we're going to talk about the Detroit Lions, our Law of the Jungle segment. Two losses in the span of six days. Ouch. Ouch. We'll find out what happened in today's game, and we'll reflect back to Monday as well. Kirk Cousins, big day today at Ford Field. We'll be right back. Hut, hut, hike. Get in the saving zone at Capital Honda with game-winning offers on the new 2019 Honda Civic LX, 189 a month, or new 2019 Honda CRV EX all-wheel drive, 269 a month. You should be driving a Honda from Capital Honda. With MSU FCU's Visa Signature Card, receive 3% cash back on groceries, 2% cash back on gas, travel, and universities, and 1% cash back on everything else. Open your MSU FCU Visa Signature Card today. This is Thriller, Thriller Night and Join Postmodern Jukebox for their Welcome to the 20s 2.0 Tour on November 2nd at the Potter Center. Back in Boulder, we ain't ever getting older. Get ready for the most sensational 20s party this side of the Great Gatsby, Saturday, November 2nd. Get your tickets at the Potter Center box office or at jccmi.edu slash Potter Center. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. See the new 835R and complete Gator lineup now at D&G Equipment in Mason, Williamson, Corona, Howell, Highland, Charlotte, and Rise Junction. It's a crime. 911, all new Monday on Fox. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all new Silverado for just $172 a month. 
Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment. Brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road. Your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. I'm talking about chicken shawarma with baked breast meat and hummus made fresh in a three day process. That's why I'm there every week. Stop and see Chuck Delita and their terrific staff on Trowbridge or find Woody's favorites at Tom's Foods, Horrocks, and all across MSU's campus. Practice, man, you know, because it's costing us a game, so we gotta fix that. And how, how do you even fix it when it's not even really, they aren't legit? They was cause. not even legit, but you know what I'm saying? Just, I don't know, man, maybe lower them, lower the hand, like, uh, you know, I don't know, man, you know, I think all that is bullshit, so, you know, I, I keep it honest, if it was, it was, well, it was, but like, all that was some bullshit, we should have been off the field twice, and you know, or the last one, they could have just got a field goal, but, make it tough, so, but, um, you gotta just bounce back and stay for Minnesota. My plan wasn't let their ass go, but shit ain't running that much. We should've just picked them up and threw them in there. Right, thanks guys. Here you see Darius Slay and uh, Chuck Daniel had to do some heavy editing on that. I'll bet he did. Uh, it's like every five words, and you kind of know where he's going if you watch that, but uh, lots of obscenities in the Lions locker room Monday night at Lambeau Field. And, uh, I have to give Matt Patricia credit. He wasn't going to talk about the refs. He said, we made these mistakes. We're the ones who gained 111 yards in the last three quarters. So for once, I thought uh, Matt Patricia had it nailed. Uh, Darian Harris, heading into last Monday, in fact, last week when Tom Crawford was sitting in this chair, doing a great job, uh, looked like the Lions were in position to take over first place. Now. They lose two games in one week. Saw what happened when Aaron Rodgers started to sniff the end zone today. Kirk couldn't miss. Uh, throws for over 330 yards, four scores again. What's happened to the Lions? Three straight L's. Yeah, I just think they've run into a buzzsaw, which is they actually are in a really good division. I mean, I think that coming into this season, we maybe didn't give this uh, NFC North uh, division uh, as much credit, credit as it needed to be. I mean, you look at what Aaron Rodgers did today. I mean, he, he's he's figured it out. You know, he's heard all the talk about Mahomes and said, hold on now, I'm still I'm still Aaron Rodgers. To quote Stephen A. Smith, I'm still a bad man. And he yeah. did the same thing last week. And there were some some pretty uh, questionable calls, to say the least. But then I think, you know, coming into to the game today, it's just same thing. You run into a divisional opponent. The Vikings are really good. We've seen what Kirk Cousins has been able to do, um, and, and he's figured it out with his receivers in terms of Thielen and Diggs, and then Dalvin Cook, uh, as we've kind of talked about before the telecast, might be just in terms of running the football, the best running back in the entire league, and when you have that issue and you can't stop simple things like crossing routes and, and uh, the play action, then you're not going to come out too victorious. As we were talking about before the show, uh, Kirk Cousins getting criticism all around the country, oh, yeah. including from his teammates. And then he has his public apology. He comes out. Stephen Brooks, the last three games, yeah. he could not have played any better. And also, Trey Waynes didn't have his greatest day, but he does have an interception to end the game. Pretty good day for the Spartans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, this, I think, we're seeing in the last stretch here, the Kirk Cousins that Minnesota wanted and expected when they signed him to that big deal. Um, last three games, three wins, 71% completion, 976 yards, 10 touchdowns, one interception. Hmm. Pretty good stuff. And then, yeah, like you said, Trey Wayans gets his first interception of the year and uh, caps things off there uh, against the Lions. So they're rolling right now. And like I said, um, this, I think, is, is kind of the performance that people expected from Cousins uh, more often than not when he, when he arrived there. Tom Crawford, the Lions were one play, one call away from starting the day in first place oh, in yeah. the NFC North. Now they are in last place, and they're four games behind the pack Ooh. in the win column. It's hard to imagine yeah. you could have that big of a switch, but you get a flip, and you get a win and a loss, and then do it again. And 
Here the Lions are. They're the only team in a division below 500. I know, and it, it's like how many gut wrenchers can you deal with? I mean, you, you know, obviously the Kansas City game, that was an opportunity that they screwed right. up on. And then they had the world sympathizing with them after the Packer loss on Monday night. And then let's go back to the Arizona game, the tie, which started yeah. the season. I mean, I, I, it's like it kind of just, you feel like today they got the wind sucked right out of them. You know, I mean, yeah. there was no pass rush. They couldn't stop the run. I mean, Kirk Cousins was having a picnic back there. He could pitch a tent back there. I, I, I can see that, you know, the wheels are kind of coming off the wagon right now. When you look at what they have coming up, they have a chance to make up some ground here. Yeah. Uh, you've got the Giants coming into Ford Field. Uh, then they're at Oakland, the Bears. Uh, playing at Soldier Field is never easy for Detroit, but right. it's been easy for some other teams this year. Uh, we saw that again today. So maybe the Lions can turn it around and go on a three-game winning streak and be 5-3. Yeah, and the three, Cowboys, I mean, that's right? doable. Redskins are terrible. Yeah. Um, it's, They've gone through the meat of the schedule. Yeah, it's been front-loaded as far as the keen competition. There's no question about it. And even... The tie with Arizona that everyone said, oh, this is a horrible way to start the season. Yeah. Arizona's won three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it's, so. it's at the moment that when you think about that. All right, we're going to switch to college football when we get back. Our Out of the Blue segment up next, talking about Michigan and a tough loss last night. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing, playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And build strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Download the Fox 47 News app and stay connected everywhere you go. Download now to schedule your lawn service today. Mower Technologies. Mowing. Leaves. Snow. Visit Glen Bugey Chevrolet in Eaton Rapids, just south of Lansing. Come see why it's better at Bugey with an expanded inventory and more salespeople to better serve you. Right now during Truck Month, lease this 2019 Silverado Crew Cab for only $179 per month. Need an oil change or service? Enjoy expanded service hours and more technicians on staff to get you in and out at Glen Bugey Chevrolet. For price to selection to service, it's better at Bugey. It's better at Bugey. Cut grass, earn cash. Got the money in the bank. Become a mower partner. Earn extra cash now. Mower Technologies. Cut grass, earn cash. We had a stop fade in the uh, corner of the end zone. Just uh, was looking, asking the guys up top if they, okay. if they thought the uh, the matchup looked good, and uh, it was it was close, considered. And then and we we let it roll, and and um, thought Shea did a good job finding finding Rodney. And uh, it'll be interesting to compare some of the. Some of the different scenarios in the game, uh, in terms of in terms of the calls, um, you know, Levert's 
holding penalty that led to a touchdown on third and 11 versus a couple of those there at the end. That was, was, uh, some of our receivers were getting tackled there the last, last couple of plays of that drive. Jim Harbaugh, he went on for about another 45 seconds. I don't know if that's ever a good look. After your team plays its best game of the year. That was plenty that he could have said about the Michigan performance. And, uh, when it went down 21 to nothing, I don't think many people thought it would be the game that it was. Uh, Tom Crawford, when you look at uh, what Michigan did last night, how did they fall behind 21 to nothing and then flip the switch? Well, you know, I mean, you almost saw in the first snap, I mean, before the first snap of the game, I mean, Harbaugh had to run and call a timeout because his, his offensive line literally walked onto the field. If you see the optics of it, it doesn't look like a team that's ready to play. Right. Free snap penalties, drop football, DP, you know, DPJ was dropping. There's a little push off there. But, hey, you still got to play, play over uh, some of the, uh, you know, the officiating. But... You can't spot a good team like Penn State with as good a front seven as it has and a pretty good offense and a great, and a great offensive player, as we're seeing right there. Um, 21 points, you got to literally pitch a perfect game. And it was short of a perfect game. They played well in that second half, and then they gave up one, you know, one defensive play where there was mass confusion, and you got Josh Metellus, you know, dealing, you know, one on one with, you know, with a great player as we see right there. I didn't uh, understand that scheme. Th that w well, you know what? It was confusion, is what it was. I mean, that was that was just that's just that's what Michigan fans and and former players. I've talked to a lot of former players. They see that and they they can't get grasp what's going on there. How that's coaching, to be honest with you. Preparation. Stephen, remember what we were saying back in Chicago? And uh, Tom, you were there. There was a lot of talk about how this was going to shake out. It was going to be different. Can we officially say that uh, the streak of championship less years for Michigan is now 15 and counting? He says with glee. <laughs> uh, you know, because I, I swear, you know, December of uh, 2014, I mandated, I said, this was the fifth year was Michigan was going to get to the CFP. And they're not going to get there. But they're still that schedule allows a lot a top 10 finish. Yeah. There's enough good opponents remaining, starting with Notre Dame, yeah. Michigan State. That'll still be a quality win. And then Ohio State, hey, look, they, 50 years ago, they beat the greatest team of all time uh, in 1969. They can do it 50 years later. It's possible. They, they have good enough players at home. You're at home. You should win at home. Yeah. I, I don't understand. And they're a one-point favorite. And, with Notre Notre Dame, Dame, right? and even with Ohio State. I mean, yeah. You still should compete and still have a chance of winning that game. Darian, K.J. Hamler from Orchard Lake St. Mary, a school that you know well yep. this season, uh, looks like the college football version of Tyreek Hill without the assault mm -hmm. allegations. Uh, he is a rocket ship. Uh, when you think about covering him, how do you stop him? Well, you don't cover him one-on-one, -on -one, which is exactly what kind of yeah. Don Brown had, and, yeah. and that's his system. And, you know, it's kind of, it's it's crossing planes a little bit. We're seeing the same thing with, with Michigan State as well as uh, you're, you're used to a defense. It's the Don Brown yeah. defense with Michigan. It's the Narduzzi defense with Michigan State that's now turned into, you yeah. know, what Trestle has continued. Uh, if you don't necessarily have the players to be able to run these defenses, you kind of got to change it up. We see sometimes where it takes a little bit of time for coaches to switch that. Uh, Michigan wasn't able to do that with Don Brown. You're leaving Martel. Well, you got to get to the quarterback. And you got to get to the quarterback as well. Right. Steven, uh, Jim Harbaugh, now 1 in 10 <laughs> against top 10 teams when you consider the games Tom outlined here. <laughs> Should Michigan uh, say, okay, 8 and 4? That's okay. We'll take it. That seems like the best case scenario right now. Best case? Game. Oh, boy. In Ohio State. So you, but, have, but Michigan, no, you, you gotta, have Michigan State beating Michigan. You got to aspire for more, though. No, Notre Dame and Ohio State, I think, are losses. How about Indiana? Indiana Could happen, right? Yeah, we'll Indiana be right back. Punch. We're going to take a look at the Illinois win over Wisconsin up next. For the best prices and most knowledgeable staff, shop at H2O Hydroponics. Dry ice pellets, 50 cents per pound. Beverage grade CO2, price right for you. And we have 24 and 100 pound butane tanks in stock. Remember, if you're going to grow, go H2O. Right here with Southside Auto Sales presenting Real Talk with Real Customers. Hey, my name is Tandy and I bought my ride at Southside. My name is Bonnie. I got two rides at Southside. My name's Madison and I just got my new ride at Southside. Now I'm in a commercial. I'm Aaron with Southside Auto Sales. If you're in the market for a quality used ride that costs less than $10,000, let Trey and I help you get your new ride at Southside. Southside. 
For the best prices and the largest inventory, shop at H2O Hydroponics. Complete commercial and recreational lighting systems. Single and mini split air conditioners in stock. For the best selection of growing media and nutrients, see us today. Remember, if you're going to grow, go H2O. Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get the Chevy Equinox for $193 a month or the Chevy Trax for only $147 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience, including daily casino runs and great getaways to northern Michigan and Chicago, where Doug Warren and I were last month for the NFL Legends Classic. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. That might have been the greatest day in Champaign, Illinois, since the 2005 Illinois basketball team. Easily. <laughs> uh, tremendous performance, and no one saw that coming. 24-23. Over number six, Wisconsin, Darian Harris. You've been part of some big upsets, some both ways, but never as a 30-and-a-half point <laughs> home underdog. How did the fighting Illini keep fighting and deliver a win that some people said Lovey Smith would never see. Yeah, I mean, I think if you watch Illinois throughout the year, they've showed that fight. Uh, they've showed that, that toughness, that tenacity. They've showed that they're capable of pulling something off like this during the season. I just don't think anybody expected it to be against Wisconsin, especially since you know, uh, how they've been playing the whole year with four shutouts previously, the number one defense in the country. Also, just Wisconsin was just making some just errors and mistakes that you just can't make from your best players. I mean, you saw last week with, with Korea quarterback plays flawlessly against Michigan State and then comes out this week and just he looks like kind of what we thought he was going to be, you know. And it just – it's not something that you would expect, but as we were kind of talking about during the break, anything can happen in college football, and that's exactly what we saw right now. Hmm. Stephen, uh, how comfortable would you be with a firm projection that we're going to see Ohio State and Wisconsin, Lucas Oil Stadium, even with the Badgers having a loss, or undefeated Minnesota, not playing great, but they're just hanging around, kind of, kind of ugly. You're so happy about that. Yeah, no. <laughs> you've been, you've been in the boat for a long time. All been rolling. Pun intended, all that. Yes. Uh, could this be the year that when we say, hey, uh, U of M is due to break through, it's just a different U of M, right? It's oh, the Minnesota. Other, the other side of the jug. Uh, yeah. No, no, not happening. Um, their schedule has been a joke, uh, and it's going to get tougher here. I think they lose to Iowa, Iowa or Penn State, and then they lose to Wisconsin, and Wisconsin gets that head-to-head tiebreaker. They won by 22 last year in Madison. Yeah, Came across to that axe, right? Uh, no. Last year, though, different situation. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see Minnesota getting there. I am comfortable locking in Wisconsin, um, Ohio State, though. I think that's definitely going to see what we're going to see. We're going to see it twice, which should be really interesting. Uh, just, I think Ohio State, uh, Wisconsin, you know, should be able to mix some things up defensively and yeah. sort of stay in that. You know, you know they're going to come in physical, but um, the way that they've been doing things defensively with Jim Leonard, I, I imagine you probably are a fan, Darian, of what they've been doing. Yeah. I think that they might be able to confuse Justin Fields just a little bit the way State Wisconsin was. Wisconsin still has not trailed for a single second with time left on the clock. Yeah, it's true, isn't that so, funny? Yeah. Strange. Uh, when you look at what is going to happen Saturday night in the horseshoe, can Wisconsin bounce back and make Ohio State work for a win? I think you're going to 
place, face an angry team, which I think uh, goes in Wisconsin's favor. And, and like I was saying, we saw Michigan State confuse Justin Fields a little bit early with what they were doing defensively. I got to imagine that uh, yeah. Jim Leonard and those guys can do a little bit of that and get in his head maybe a little bit, even if they can't physically get to him yeah. as much. Um, and then we'll see how how State holds up to just sort of getting rammed in the face time after time. So yeah. I don't know if anybody's really tried to do that to him. It'll yeah. be interesting. Tom Crawford, let's take a quick look at the Associated Press Top 25. And what do you see, uh, what don't you see, which team should be number one, and which school is the biggest disappointment? Well, I get the biggest disappointment out of the, out of the way, Michigan. <clears throat> Obviously, I mean, this was a preseason, you know, top five, top seven team. But the team is interesting to me, and I saw them play Temple yesterday. It was SMU, Sonny yeah. Dykes team. The guy's got 19 transfers. Yeah. This is like Kansas State model, including yeah. Shane Bouchelle from Texas. Yes. That's an interesting team. So, uh, but, I, but I got Ohio State. They, they'd be my number one. Uh, and then probably LSU and Alabama. And, and then I wouldn't even have Clemson in the, in the top. I'd have them number six, maybe. Another team that's a big surprise to me this year. I didn't expect to see them on this list. Still unbeaten, the Baylor Bears. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they beat Oki State. Very, yes. very well. Yeah. Hey, now you got an injury to Tua, Tunga Valoa. Don't know if he's going to be back for the LSU game. I still think Ohio State's the best team Where's in the country. Jalen Hurts when you need him. <laughs> we will be right back, and we're going to talk Michigan State. A Going Green segment up next. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Big Bang character prototype, Sheldon. The Big Bang Theory, five nights a week. Every day, there are doors to open and steps to be taken. There are chapters waiting to be written. There are simple things that mean the world and things so complex, they can change the world. There are decisions to make that make all the difference. And we have a part in all of it, every day. No matter how early you're up or how late you're running, when you start your day at Speedway, we've got what you need to have a good morning. We've got it hot. We've got it cold. We've got it sprinkled. We've got it ready. We're here to make your morning a little better. Because when you get off to a better start, you go on to a better day. And now get any size coffee for 99 cents when you buy any breakfast sandwich or donut. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet, a trusted friend 105 years in the automobile business. And Graf Nissan next door on West Grand River in Okemos. They'll take great care of you as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. Go green, go Graf. Well, I think what still drives me today is to help guys live the same dream I've gotten to live. You know, I'm still here. And uh, I'm still here coaching at a high level and accomplishing some things, whether it be accolades, whether it be financial, whether it be record-wise. Um, it's the same thing to hope for our guys, you know, 
Do they do something here that will last a lifetime? Do they do something here that will propel them into the next 60 years of their life in a better way? I mean, that's what happened to me. That's what I was saying to live my dream. So that's probably my number one motivating reason. Tom Izzo, beginning year 25 as Michigan State's head basketball coach and year 37 on campus. I started covering Michigan State full-time the week he got here, so that's <laughs> one of the first stories I wrote. Uh, Stephen Brooks, your number one takeaway from Media Day Tuesday in Breslin Center is? Uh, that Tom was saying that he hasn't seen enough separation at Power Forward yet. I mean, we all know that's sort of the big hole on this team. Um, with Kenny Goins out the door and they got a lot of guys competing for it a lot of different guys that bring different things to the table so it is really interesting um, and you have a you know you have a huge hole in a starting five of a team that's expected to be number one and here we are a couple weeks from the season and Izzo saying there hasn't been enough separation there yet which can be a good thing or you know means maybe a lot of guys are playing really well maybe nobody's playing well enough but you know you know he's going to create some kind of uh, yeah. problem you know to, to get those guys to focus and all that team is off Twitter yeah, their choice. That, right? that's, that's, he didn't say it. That's just, impressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's talk about some of the other side stories for the week. What do you know about this private scrimmage against Gonzaga? Uh, Joshua Langford did not play. And right. What do you make about uh, the uh, decommitment of Flint standout uh, Jalen Terry? And also, hey, hearing more and more and more about Joey Hauser. Yeah, so the scrimmage was played out in Denver. Um, Gary Harris was out there watching those guys, uh, nice and convenient for him. Um, Josh Langford did not play, like you said. I should say right off the top, Michigan State lost 103-87 to to Gonzaga. Yeah. Um, they lost this thing last year to them, too. Twice. They behind had two closed doors. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. lost to Gonzaga when they played them as well. Um, Cassius Winston starts alongside Kyle Lawrence, Aaron Henry, Marcus Bingham, and Xavier Tillman. So interesting there. Uh, Cassius had 20 points on... 5 of 16 shooting, Rocket Watts at 12 points, Aaron Henry at 13. Um, so there's a couple details out there. I mean, a lot of people, not a lot of people I don't think are panicking, um, but it is kind of interesting, you yeah. know, that something like that happens. Number one team in the nation and uh, probably going to stay that way regardless of what would have happened in this game. Tom Crawford, the last time we saw Mark D'Antonio, this may sound like a dumb question, but it was uh, just a, about as bad uh, a day as Michigan State football has had, I would say, 38 nothing. Sounds like a familiar score, sure. right? You've seen that before. Uh, try to stop a Heisman candidate running back, and you give up a lot of passing yards, and you make a zillion other mistakes. How much of that can be attributed to playing Ohio State and Wisconsin back to back, and how much of it is Michigan State right now is just not a very good football team? Well, it's probably a, a decent blend of both. You know, I, I, I picked uh, Michigan State to beat Wisconsin, 28 to 20. I just, I just like how Michigan State matches up with Wisconsin, and, but they just didn't have a lot of fire in them no. that they typically have. And, and you know, when they had that fake punt that I thought would, you know, ignite them, I, and I, they showed the bench. I thought, you know, they were kind of getting all jacked up, and then a couple sacks later, the air was completely gone out right. of that bench. Uh, from what I, I'm looking at, sidelines and stuff on on, on TV, and so. Um, I don't know. This this game this game Saturday is huge for Michigan State. Where yeah. this season goes, when you hear about you know the six transfer portal announcements, whatever yeah. that means, you know you think that, you know that there's disarray there. So I, I think Saturday is really gonna really could set them in the right direction again. Darian Harris, uh, you've been part of a lot of wins over Penn State. Uh, what would it take for another upset? Saturday afternoon, and what would that mean? What would it do this season? Well, I think it's what it's going to take is just doing some different things defensively and, and really learning from what Michigan had to go through. Do not leave K.J. Hamler one-on-one -on, -one <laughs> on the outside. Right. He is determined to stick it to Michigan State and Michigan, I think. Now, I understand that he had the opportunity to probably go to both, was committed at one time to Michigan State, but right. how hard you recruited really – you know, it, it kind of it has a lot to do with where you go. And I feel like in-state kids, it was the same with me when I played against Maryland. You want to stick it to your hometown team if you don't go there. So he's going to come out really determined. So it's just going to come out, and again, well, exactly what Tom said, playing with a whole lot more fire than he did against Wisconsin. But I, I think that competing in that game, getting a win, it can steer this season back on the right trajectory and change a lot of fans' minds uh, on where they sit with Coach Antonio right now. If Michigan State could get this win Saturday afternoon, is it possible that they could get on a roll, run the table, 
finish nine and three? Yeah, I mean, it's possible. And then, you know, that sets you up for certain implications down the road, uh, bowl games, things of that nature, and maybe knocking some people out of their chance to go to Indianapolis. So it could definitely uh, set that up for sure. Tomorrow uh, on The Drive with Jack, we'll let you know any more portal announcements. We'll be right back. <laughs> Can we recycle envelopes with plastic windows? Aye, laddie. How about this? Look, stay by food, forget it. If it's got food residue on it, don't recycle it. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. Whether your insurance need is for business, farm and agriculture, or protecting your home and auto, experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about you with the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Visit DavidChapmanAgency.com. Adding a Napoleon fireplace to your home can turn an ordinary room into a relaxing place where memories are made. Young Brothers in Daly on Michigan Avenue has a showroom filled with beautiful ideas and has been serving the Lansing area for over 125 years. Can we recycle envelopes with plastic windows? Aye, laddie. How about this? Look, stand by food, forget it. If it's got food residue on it, don't recycle it. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. There's so much more I can teach you about murder. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Since 1972, the Michigan Lottery has provided more than $22 billion to support public education. Each week, the Michigan Lottery recognizes outstanding educators from across the state with the Excellence in Education Awards. Watch Fox 47 News at 6.30 on Tuesday to find out this week's Excellence in Education winner. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Lansing's Best segment, brought to you by the Greater Lansing Sports Authority, bringing thousands of athletes and teams to mid-Michigan for hundreds of tournaments and special events. Hats off to the GLSA for showing just what mid-Michigan can be. Very happy tonight to be joined by Mark Ewell, Executive Director of the Michigan High School Athletic Association. Welcome to Press Pass. Good to be here. Can you believe we're almost at the end of another fall season? Does it ever get old or are there always new challenges? For always new challenges. Uh, football season goes so fast. You know, we had all the weather this year with two or three Friday nights uh, becoming also Saturday mornings. But uh, yeah, last week of the regular season here, uh, Selection Sunday, one week from today, oh, yeah. and the field will be set. The next thing you know, we'll be at uh, Ford Field Thanksgiving weekend. Darian Harris already said you can just <laughs> pass the Wall Lake Western. He's looking uh, ahead. <laughs> what did you learn about the executive director's role from longtime predecessor Jack Roberts? I think that you really need to be a good listener. Um, you know, we're a membership driven organization. We've got 748 high schools that. Uh, um, that's who we serve, and so yeah. it's important to listen to you know our coaches, um, to our administrators, to, to really make sure that the, the policy that we have in place is what our constituents want. So uh, yeah. you know it's the old saying, the good Lord gave you two ears and one mouth, and you should use both of them in that proportion. And uh, being a good listener, I think, was really the best advice I got from Jack. I think people uh, used to say, you know, Roberts, they just sit around and make things up. And uh, obviously, uh, there's a representative council. There's a process for all the decisions that are made. What's the biggest misconception about you or the organization 
and the way things really work. I think the biggest one is that we, you know, kind of sit in this ivory tower. You know, a lot of times we get painted with the broad brush of the NCAA. Well, we're governed by schools. We've got a, a board that's made up of school people right. constantly getting that input and feedback. And at the end of the day, in athletics, we do have to enforce the rules, just like a, an official or an umpire. I mean, right. the rule is the rule at the end of the day, and you're going to be unpopular sometimes because of that. But You don't um, necessarily write them, but you do have to enforce them. You have to always enforce them at the end of the day because that's what people really expect. What is the number one concern or the greatest worry, maybe the nightmare thing that makes you sit up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat? Um, I worry about our football numbers, to be honest with you. I worry about, you know, and today being a Sunday and during the show tonight, you guys have talked a lot about football, and um, I worry what the game's going to look like in 10 years. I don't think we've done a very good job of making the case that football in 2019 has never been safer. Mm -hmm. The way that the game is coached, with right. equipment, with preparation, with even moms and dads at home now, with, you know, knowing about concussions and what to look for, and right. even the way I know officials, it's been a tough week this week, but even the way the game's officiated, it's such a a safe activity now versus what it was 20 years ago and yeah. I just feel like we haven't done a good job of getting that narrative out there. I know it's safer than when I was coaching a century ago but why is it so much safer? You talk about the equipment it just seems like now everybody's a little bit smarter. Absolutely. I mean, you even go back to now with practice regulations. You know, when all of us were probably playing uh, back a few years ago, um, Two a days, three a days, four a days. Nobody was monitoring how much contact, how much live scrimmaging. Right. So everything that we've done in the preseason, during the practice week, change of the game rules on game night, and it really, football has never been safer than it is in 2019. Mark, if Rico Beard were here, he would have a lot to say about eligibility issues and what he considers to be overregulation. But there was a case this year, and it worked out at the end. It was. A little dicey for a while. Darian, you're involved with this. Uh, standout player uh, at Wald Lake Western, that's Abdur Rahman Yassin. Yep. Close enough. Mm -hmm. Headed to Northwestern. And a problem getting some records. How did that all get resolved? Yeah, it was an academic issue to where uh, he had some homeschool um, in his background, also took some online virtual classes, and even the transcripts that they gave the, the member school when he started there his first year, there was confusion. Yeah. Well, is he really an eighth grader? Is he really a ninth grader? And yeah. some of those things kind of got kicked down the, the road a little bit, and okay. so really those came to a head when the school brought it to us this summer and really asked for some clarification. And it took about three weeks for all those records to come in, but at the end of the day, uh, it wasn't about getting it fast, it was about getting it right. Getting it right. And, uh, I sleep really soundly with that decision. Tom Crawford, uh, our kids had a chance to play multiple sports. Yep. And we talk a lot about multi-sport participation. We do. And, and I'm, I'm curious, from Mark, where's that trend going? Are we getting the specialization, which, which people seem to flirt with, I'm going to focus on this, or is there is, is a multi-sport thing, is it trending that way? We've put together a multi-sport um, task force to try and encourage kids to play more sports. It's interesting, you know, around the NFL draft, you'll hear the stat often that, you know, 27 of the 32 first-round picks all were multi-sport yeah. athletes. Yeah. And that's something we want to see more and more. The problem is, you know, parents in kind of my generation, we grew up with Tiger Woods and Serena Williams. Yeah. Kind of that idea that if you're really going to be a standout athlete, you need to do what Tiger did where it's a golf club in yeah. your hand at three and pick that sport yeah. or the Williams sisters that same way. If your kid is Tiger Woods or Serena Williams, come see me. Uh, <laughs> I have an exception. Hey, good luck getting new officials. I know that is constantly a battle and I know uh, the role of parents in that. Go to MHSAA.com and you can read Mark's latest take on this. We will be right back in just a minute. We'll be talking baseball, getting ready for the World Series, up next on Press Pass. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to virtually eliminate your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you could save, call now. 1-800-905-0468. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. 
for the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know? Call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-905-0468. Download the Fox 47 Storm Shield app and stay in touch everywhere you go. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all-new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all-new Silverado for just $172 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we have a taste for adventure because the only way to know how good something can be is to go for it. Try our veggie smoothies, island green, made with spinach, kale, pineapple, banana, and mango. And Caribbean Seaburst with carrots, mango, banana, orange, and goji. Adventure begins with never knowing until you try, but always expecting something great. Go for a veggie smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment. Brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. made Ken Rosenthal look tall, which is hard to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a big guy, is he? Uh, no one throws the ball harder than Araldus Chapman, but the exit velocity oh. on that shot. That was a rocket ship. That thing went over the Fuddrucker sign in two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and it became very clear that the Yankees, for all their home runs during the regular season, yeah. would be home watching the World Series and the Astros back for the second time in three years. Yeah, and I, I have a lot of Astro fans, friends of mine who were lit in Houston, and so that was a big, I got some texts from them. As I, I like it. I'm sure you don't care because you're in pain, you know, watching no Michigan lose to Penn State, but yeah, I mean, that was one of those moments, I, that clip you're gonna probably see for multiple years yeah. in, in the playoffs, it's one of those moments. And, and you know, I mean, it's for us, non, you know, Tiger fans where our team is totally irrelevant, what, what's the interest we have in this World Series upcoming? It's watching former Tiger pitchers pitch. I mean, right. that's that's right. the only tie we have into it because that's so far removed from where the Tigers are having a, a monumental moment like that. Darian Harris, the Astros will face your Washington Nationals. How did the Nats and the uh, baby shark fever uh, <laughs> go from 19 and 31, same record the Tigers had at the end of May, and here they are, they're four games away from being world champs. Yeah, it's just pitching, and that's what it comes down to in baseball always. And once a team in, in baseball is able to get rolling, then you can have a run like the Nationals do. You know, 19 and, and 31 sounds, uh, you know, non-playoff-esque in any other sport, but with baseball, when you have 162 regular season games, anything can happen. Yeah. And they were able to turn it on immensely and just come together as a team. And the thing about baseball is there's so many nuances to baseball, and I'm not exactly sure how a locker room in baseball would necessarily work. And I don't think that Bryce Harper's departure necessarily means the locker room gets better and all of a sudden you go to the World Series. You don't lose 100 RBIs and, and 30 homers and, and, and be happy about it. But it just does seem that they have a little bit of a, a different rhythm about them as a team and it's resulted in a, a great playoff push. You beat the Dodgers, you get to play in a World Series. Pretty special. You think most people would be more surprised by a Nats win 
or by an Astros sweep? I think they'd be more surprised probably by an Astros sweep. Just again, because of the pitching that the Nationals said. I think you, yeah. you have to be believers in what the Washington Nationals are doing right now. Steven, uh, your love of baseball. I know you're going to be glued, <laughs> riveted to this. But just think about Detroit fans and what it would be like you get into a game seven and you've got Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander out there on the mound. Would yeah. you watch an inning? Uh, I would have to. Somebody, you should text me. If it's, a, if it's an interesting game seven, late yeah. in the game. That's the last time I sat down to truly and wa enjoy and watch baseball. It was late in game seven for the Cubs a few years back. Uh, I want to see something historic, but probably not. You know, Your I'd first question would be, who's, be who's playing, right? I'd rather be knitting, you know, or something like that. Go do my laundry, um, you know, clean up my apartment, literally anything else. Somehow we never got to Little League tryouts. I don't know what's going on. We'll be right back with our Cool and Smooth, our weekly awards, up next. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Last man standing. Weeknights at 7.30 on Fox 47. No matter how early you're up or how late you're running, when you start your day at Speedway, we've got what you need to have a good morning. We've got it hot. We've got it cold. We've got it sprinkled. We've got it ready. We're here to make your morning a little better. Because when you get off to a better start, you go on to a better day. And now get any size coffee for 99 cents when you buy any breakfast sandwich or donut. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Cool and Smooth segment. Brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. Folks. Hopefully nobody was hurt, including the horses. Here you see the Sooner Schooner. <laughs> Oklahoma's been running roughshod over opponents all year, but uh, <laughs> not the first time we have seen this happen, Tom. You remember a bowl game? Well, right? Orange Bowl, that Schooner went over. You know, it seems like some lawyers would be all over that liability. <laughs> so like that, I'm surprised OU allows it, their students to still do that. But that's one of those traditions in college football. I think uh, maybe all state, you know, that guy Mayhem, yeah. right? Yeah. He can yeah. come pop out of the <laughs> All right, uh, Team 317, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint explosion this week. Darian Harris, what about our play of the week? Uh, play of the week, I know we just talked about it, but it's got to be Jose Altuve and his walk-off shot to beat the, the New York Yankees and send the Houston Astros to the World Series again. I mean, just, just him specifically, just such a great story. I mean, he's, yeah. you know, five foot yeah. nothing out there, he's, <laughs> and he might be the best position player in all of baseball. The story of how he got to the Houston Astros is, is fantastic. You should check that out if you Don't get a chance. Don't find many series walk-offs. Right, exactly, let alone that. And he does it so often um, for his yeah. size and stature. He's a great player, and it's a good, great story. Brought back the memory of Joe Carter hitting that home run for the Blue yeah. Jays. Uh, Stephen Brooks, what do you have for Game of the Week? 
So I was tempted to go uh, Illinois, Wisconsin, of course, but I figured they'd probably get brought up at some other point. I'm going to go with uh, Virginia Tech over North Carolina, Ooh, six yeah. overtimes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a couple years ago, it became a meme now. You got Frank Beamer with his hands up at the end of a 0-0 regulation game. This yeah. was kind of the opposite of that. Six overtimes. Um, it was the first time we've got to see the new overtime rules put into effect, first. where yeah, after four overtimes, it's just two point, two point, two point yeah. all yeah. the time. So, you know, the college football fan and purist to me, I don't really like that. I'd rather just play for well, 10 I hours if you want. Yeah. Play like a baseball game. Just yeah. keep yeah. playing, you know? Well, That's one of the yeah. reasons, you know, just keep playing it. But uh, here's a good stat for you, though, on that game. Yeah. Um, three different Virginia Tech players threw touchdowns. Wow. Kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. You play I, that long. I've got or? an honorable mention for game of the week. Tom, what about the Mason Bulldogs? Oh, yeah. The big win over Portland. Two upset. undefeated. 8 0. First time. Congratulations yeah. to yeah. the Bulldogs. Yeah, Mason, keep rolling. Tom, what do you have for a team of the week? Well, I'm also tempted to go with Illinois for a team of the week, yeah. but uh, I, I can't I can't resist. The Minnesota Golden Gophers are 7-0 for the first time since 1960. Yeah. I mean, think about that. That's 60 years ago. Sandy Stevens yeah. was a quarterback. That's the last time they went to the Rose Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you're always dogging me about Michigan not winning Big Ten titles. How would it be a Minnesota fan not going to the Rose Bowl for 60 years? Yeah, that'd That's, be tough. Yeah, that would be really tough. So hats off. To PJ and that team, but but they got one more win, and I'm kind of with Steven. I think the wheels are going to fall. Well, when they get to Indianapolis, uh, <laughs> you'll see your picture of what it's like. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, really yeah. sweet helmets on Saturday for Minnesota too. Yeah, with the gopher on one side. Yeah, good stuff. I did notice that. All right, for our player of the week, hey, uh, following up on what Darian said, I got to go with Little Man. I mean, Jose Altuve, he's not really five six. No, he's five five. Yeah, and 168. That was after dinner. But the amazing part about his career is when he came to his tryout in Venezuela and they said, go home, kid. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, I'm a tryout. And they said, you're too young. You can't play. He came back with his birth certificate. And finally they said, okay. But everyone had uh, diminished what he could do. Now here he is on top of the world. He's been an MVP. He's been AP Athlete of the Year done all these things and he plays with more joy than any baseball player I yeah. have seen since Kirby Puckett. So really looking forward to watching him, watching him against the Nats. It all starts Tuesday night. Some great matchups and we got college football, Michigan State, Penn State, Spartan Stadium, Notre Dame and Michigan a little bit later in Ann Arbor. I want to thank Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, Darian Harris, coach at Wild Lake Western, Stephen Brooks, 24-7 Sports, Spartan Tailgate Premium Site. See you next week, everyone.